This is a Hawaiian sculpture that was created between the period of 1780 to 1819. That period is historically related to the reign of Kamehameha I, who was called the unifier of the islands. It was a turbulent time in Hawaii's history, and he associated himself with the war god Ku, Kuku'ilimoku, which means the land snatcher, the island eater. The war god Ku became his effigy, and we saw a proliferation of these sculptures created for the temples, for Kamehameha I, dedicated to this deity, it was a highly, highly stratified society. So the artists that could be admitted to create these sculptures for the chiefs, for the royalty, for the kings and queens of Hawaii were effectively priests. And it's in a style that's called the Kona style, which is highly expressionistic, characterized by a figure eight shaped mouth and the distended eyes and the head crest that are formed together to create this very extremely powerful and even aggressive image of this god. Our authentication process was to really analyze it through the Morellian method, analyzing every single technical detail of how this work was carved. Additionally, we thought it would be important to do a C14 test, which gives us some indication of the age of the sculpture and when it was created. It came back to us as late 18th, early 19th century, which matched exactly that same stylistic period of the Kona style, Kamehameha's reign. We tested the wood for the figure, and it came back as this wood Metro Sideros, which is a very specific wood that's only found in the high mountains of Hawaii. When I first saw this figure, I was astonished really speechless because we couldn't imagine that such a work could still exist in a private collection. The figures that we know are in museums, including what we consider the mate to this figure, which is in the British Museum. It's an incredible discovery, this work. I mean, it could stand on the world stage with any sculptures, and this figure would captivate and hold anyone's attention.